Welcome to the Solution Series, brought to you by Double Radius and hosted by yours truly, Jeff Holdenred. Today, we're going to talk about training. You know, it's very important today for us to be trained up on the products that we're going to deploy, you know, so we can kind of beat the learning curve going ahead. We actually have a training to announce, and that's kind of where I want to introduce um, our special guest today, Mark Heeman with Cambium Networks. Hello, sir. How are we doing? Terrific. Thank you. And thank you. Thanks for having me on. Yes, sir. So what we're doing is on September 14th and September 15th, we will be hosting a two day certification training for Cambium Networks and their enterprise solutions. Now, what's really cool about this is it's not one certification. We are actually going to do not one, not two, not three, but four certifications on the enterprise uh, product lines. And we'll be hosting that here at Double Radius. So, Mark, I've uh, done quite a few of your certification trainings and, and online training tools, which are amazing. Thank you for putting those together. Um, they've been a lot of fun. Um, but in your opinion, what's what's the difference? What can you do different uh, in, in in a like on site face to face training? You know, um, that's a really good question. And, and, and by the way, thank you. Thank you for attending my, my online trainings. But, um, you know, uh, COVID. 2020 was a really strange year. COVID changed the way we go to work, right? Um, and and uh, initially we thought that um, you know things were going to slow down, but not for training. Training took off because people were at home and they had time to attend training. So every time I turned around, I was doing an online training class, but they were all online. Pre-COVID. Um, you know, it was all about, uh, you know, going out to a partner site and doing a two day class, getting people certified, getting people excited to go out and um, set, not, not only sell, but to um, set up Cambium equipment, enterprise equipment, because they knew how to do it at that, you know, uh, then um, COVID hit and we went all online and we lost that personal touch. OK, um, you know, when, when you're online, you um, there's no telling how many distractions there are going on around you. Dog needs to be fed. Clothes need to be put in the dryer. UPS man rings the doorbell. Just all this. And, and we've all lived it. We've all learned from it, right? Um, so so really, I think one of, uh, one of the benefits, not one of the main benefits, but one of the benefits of being in person is that I get your undivided attention. You know, unless you're off doing checking emails or doing something else, I've got your undivided attention. And, and to me, that's that's primo that, you know, you can't replace that. Um, another thing is in a classroom setting, I think people are more inclined to ask questions. You know, when you're online, you just kind of sit back and uh, um, hope that somebody asks the question for you. And if it doesn't get asked, well, you just keep on going forward and, and don't worry about it. But in an online, you know, or, or in a live session, you're more inclined to ask questions or or you'll feed off of somebody. Somebody will ask a question and then somebody else will pop. Oh, yeah, well, that that reminds me. Let me ask you this. And 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 a whole little conversation can can go off and and then I'm worried about the conversation going down a wormhole, you know, um, but yeah. I'd rather have that problem than, you know, have faceless people on the on the uh, other end of a Zoom call, you know, not knowing what they're doing, if they're even paying attention to me. Um, a, another thing is that when I'm in person, I get a chance to interject more of my experience and, and I've been doing this for 11 years. And, and one of the, the great things about working for a smaller company is that if you raise your hand for a project, you usually get it. OK, and I'm the type that I was taught, Mark, raise your hand, even if you can't do it, raise your hand. Um, so I'm always in these in these different projects, which gives me a lot of experience. And in my training classes, I can talk about those experiences with the, with the students. Um, really, don't get that in a in an online setting because you know. Um, okay, well today we're here from nine to three, you know, and at three o'clock everybody's gone. Um, in a classroom, you know what? We can go over, or, or we can make adjustments on the fly. You don't get you don't get those opportunities. So I like him. I like the the in person because I get to share my experiences with people and and that's uh i think that's something that uh, um is very 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 important um so uh, i i guess in a nutshell those are just a, a couple of, a few of the uh reasons why i personally really like online and uh, um you know now post covid these types of online sessions uh, i mean uh, uh, in-person sessions 
are starting to open up again. So I want to thank you, Double Radius, Jeff, for hosting this. This is awesome. Yeah, we're really looking forward to this. And one of the things I want to add to that is, you know, when we do this live session here or this this in-person session here, we're actually going to have gear on the table. So you're actually going to get to play with the equipment uh, that Cambium offers today. Now, I think you and I were talking the other day and you had even mentioned the word labs. So being able to do, I mean, we're going to be doing a lot of labs in this training. Is that correct? Absolutely. Lab after lab after lab. You betcha. Every time, every time I uh, stand up to talk about a subject, it's going to be followed up with a lab. So, um, you know, for, for the students coming in, um, you know, don't expect this. Uh, don't expect to just sit in the back of the room and, and, you know, think of this as a vacation away from work. Not at all. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, discuss the subject and then I'm going to have a lab and and uh, you're going to have to get fully engaged in these labs to uh, to do well on them for sure. I know I'm looking forward to it. I've been through the uh, the online boot camp, but I'm 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 so excited to be here. Uh, rearrange schedules so I can actually be in the office for this. Come I'll on. be attending with you all and uh, really looking forward to playing with the gear and actually getting a chance to do those labs to help me understand more what I've already learned and make sure I got a good grasp on it. So this is going to be I'm excited. So day one, um, can you go over kind of uh, what what the, the path looks like in day one? Just a quick uh, rundown of what you see, how day one is going to play out. Yeah, absolutely. So um, so uh, just just looking at the at the schedule here, you know, I, um, of course, always stay, stand up and and introduce yourself and ask folks to introduce themselves. And and, and I'll, I'll take a 30,000 foot flight over the um, Cambium product line just so that we're level set. Uh-huh. Enterprise access points, enterprise switches, um, and 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 uh, um, the reason I'll do that primarily is because we do have a different offering. We mm-hmm. have access points that are um, that that have radios that are um, uh, program uh, software programmable, meaning mm-hmm. that um, you can buy an access point today that has a software programmable radio, and today it would be it will be a five gigahertz radio, but next year. When those 6E clients start to hit the market, well, you can flip that uh, radio over to a, si- a, a 6 gigahertz radio with just a couple clicks of the mouse. So, you know, um, I, I need to introduce the students to those uh, types of devices. And we also have multi radio devices, uh, three, four, and five radio devices, which is very unique in the industry. So, um, I've got to get a level set on that. Okay. And, and that's going to be a, a very high flyover. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, uh, and then I'll get into RF and Wi-Fi uh, technology, um, the, the principles of RF and, and Wi-Fi. Um, you know, Wi-Fi six, Wi-Fi six E uh, brings around a new technology, and um, and you know, and and uh, it, it's easy for me to think that oh, most you know, most people in this industry will they stay, you know, they, they stay up to date with all the new technologies and you know there's not uh, i can talk about six and 6e um but you know i think people already know that well you know i i did a i did an online session and um i I skipped over that i I didn't do the rf and wi-fi technology and and i mentioned it at the end of our uh, uh full day session and and several engineers you know said hey you know what I really could have used the refresh. I don't know anything about Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. So, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you didn't do it, but I could have learned a lot. So uh, taking that, I, I, I took that and said, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to cut corners anymore. I'm going to stick with what is, uh, what, what has been proven uh, uh, as a winner. So um, I'll go over RF and Wi-Fi technology and, and go uh, heavy into the 6 and 6E stuff. Um, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll discuss Wi-Fi network design, um, because with six and six E, you know, um, uh, yeah, six, you know, the, the six gigahertz um, uh, spectrum is a is a little bit weaker than the five gigahertz. So, you know, a lot of people are thinking, oh, well, that's going to really affect my design, and maybe in some cases it will, most cases it won't. But we'll go over uh, network design best practices. Okay, um, you know how to. Um, how to calculate how many radios you need in a certain area, where you can put the APs, what's the best practice for this kind of stuff. So I've got a whole slide deck on that, and I've got a uh, I've got a lab put together for that as well. Um, then we'll get into seeing matrix switches. I'll, I'll, I'll go switch. through the product yes. line. Mm-hmm. I, I'm sorry. I said the new switches. Yes. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, um, uh, we've got our enterprise, uh, the EX um, uh, series, the TX series, which is the new tower um, mm -hmm. based uh, switches. So we'll go over those. Um, I'll go over configurations uh, in, in C and Maestro with the switches. I've got a lab for the switches. Um, so, uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll be really busy there. Um, and then I've got a, uh, then I want to talk in more detail, take a deeper dive into the um, Wi-Fi 6 and 6E access points with a very high flyover of the um, of the legacy 11 AC access points. So, um, you know, just on day one, Guys, if you're coming to my training, you better drink your coffee before you get here because we are going to be busy. All right. Um, there's we'll a have lot plenty of coffee here. <laughs> yeah, man. There's there's a lot to cover. Um, there's a lot of labs going on. So um, you know, it. Uh, I'm I'm excited about this. This is you know really really excited. This will be good stuff. It will be. So now day two. I mean, Cambium is one of the few, if not the only, manufacturers that offer both a a free and paid uh, management system is is that kind of what we're going to cover primarily on day two? Then is the difference? Yeah, the, exactly. And, and X? Exactly. Um, day two will be um, C and Maestro. Okay, right. C and Maestro Essentials, the free, the free version, and then C and Maestro X, which is uh, essentially C and Maestro plus a lot of. Uh, um, a lot of advanced features like a, a MSP platform. Um, well, I could just go on and on and on. And, um, <laughs> but but uh, yeah, but, but yes, the, the second day we are going to focus on bringing the solution together. Okay, so so we'll go over um, uh, CM Maestro Essentials, CM Maestro X, and then we'll talk about how it all integrates together, how the APs and the switches come together in C and Maestro X. And I'm going to have a lab where I'm going to, I'm going to give you a customer worksheet. Okay. This is your customer's request. I want to see you put it together. So we'll wow, tie everything fun. together. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's great. That's and for those of you that don't know, so Cambium offers a management tool and it's called C and Maestro. And they offer it in two flavors. It's a free flavor, which is essentials. It's always been free. And then they have the added features like your MSP features and things like that that can be added to it. That's Maestro X, which is kind of like a more robust, more feature set. Same, same C and Maestro, just with more features, more reporting and everything else. So we're going to go over those, which is going to be exciting too. Now, all of Cambium's products are managed by uh, C and Maestro. So even if you're, you know, doing, if you're a WISP, you know, or you're, you know, you're just doing your point to points, your telegraph, you know, your point to multipoint, all that's under the same management tool. And we're going to cover that, even though this is an enterprise workshop, seeing my shows where it's all at. So that's going to be really exciting. Mark, I'm excited about that. Um, so Mark, is there anything else that you want to add? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously we're doing it here at Double Radius, uh, Charlotte or Indian Trail, North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte, uh, September 14th to 15th, the registration link will be available uh, at the bottom of this video or on this video. Um, but Mark, is there anything you want to add to that uh, or add to what we're, we're, we're presenting to our clients? Um, you know, that's, uh, I, I think we've pretty well covered most of it. Um, really what I, uh, uh, the biggest thing I want to stress here, beyond getting to know Cambium, uh, getting to uh, getting uh, getting to learn how to configure the equipment, um, use CN Maestro, beyond all that, um, I'm excited because we're live again. Okay, and 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 the guys who show up, I, I want you to have an open mind. I want you to come in with your list of questions. Um, you know, this is a, uh, um, it's it's a it's I hate to say this, but it's a unique opportunity. You know, we haven't been able to do this in several years, so um, you know, let's let's come in with a with a good attitude and an open mind and. And uh, let's have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, you know, at the end of at the end of the, the second day here, when you walk out the door, I want you to be exhausted. OK, <laughs> golly, man, I need I need to go have I, I just need to leave. I'm tired. Um, but come next week, I want you to be able to set up your Cambium equipment. Mm -hmm. OK, and, and 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 have faith and and be confident in your setup of the equipment. So um, that's the whole goal here. Yep. Confidence is key on that one. Well, Mark, we really appreciate you taking the time to come visit us. We take we appreciate the time of you uh, being here with us today. Um, you know, to all the people that watch this, seats are limited. It's going to be a great event. Come out to Double Radius. 
meet Mark with Cambium, who's you know putting on this. Cambium's putting on the event. Double Radius is hosting the event. Spend some time with your sales rep. Ask questions. Learn something new. Meet some new people. Um, that's what we're all about here, and we're really looking forward to this. So, Mark, thank you for being here today, and thank you for uh, traveling out to our office. Looking forward to see you here in right about just almost a you know few weeks, a month. So. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, I, I thank you, Jeff, for putting this uh, opportunity together, uh, you and Double Radius. Um, I think it's going to be a great event for everybody who attends. Couldn't agree more. For all you out there, please call your rep, uh, register online on our website. Here's the link. If you have any questions, reach out. But well, we hope to see you here. If not, we'll schedule more. If we get a bigger interest, uh, seats will fill up fast. We look forward to seeing you guys here in September. Thank you for visiting Solution Series, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much, guys. Mm -hmm.